Are you okay, Boruto? It, yeah. What are we going to do now, though? She got away. A ninja world missing individual memories. In other words, a ninja world without memories is about to be born. What? Who are you? Come with me if you wish to stop this chaos. Guess we check it out. What is this place? There aren't any other players. It seems like a separate place from where we were before. Everything looks like the real world. You're right. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Time, Time Reservoir. Reservoir. Who are you? I'm Tonori Otsutsuki. You could say that I'm the supervisor of this planet. Otsutsuki? Hold on. Don't tell me that you're with Momoshiki. I'm not like them. I'm here to help you. Help us? Can we trust you? That is up to you. However, you have no way to better this situation right now. That's why, despite your suspicions, you followed me here. Am I right? Boruto? This person really doesn't seem to be an enemy. Yeah. He feels different from them. It's true, we don't have any options. And I guess you seem different. Does that mean you trust me a little? Yeah, but if you do anything funny, I'm gonna... I won't be doing anything. Just offering a bit of help. Rather, there is much I will ask you to do, if we're going to make it through this. About that, is it really possible to stop this chaos? Yes, but it will not be easy. Recovering all of the memories people have built up until now will require a significant amount of time. What's more, the amount of memory that has been lost is astronomical. Normally it would take decades, or even centuries. Then there's really no way. However, there is one thing about this current world in our favor. And that is your father. Naruto Uzumaki. My dad? Although the amount may vary quite significantly, your father is in the memories of nearly everyone alive right now. His power is so great it goes beyond wars and is accepted by everyone. A power that could only be because he is Naruto Uzumaki. We will be using that. Using what? First, I will have you go back to the past and retrace Naruto's history. You can retrieve his memories there. Go back to the past? How? It is possible if we use this mysterious space's unique properties with the power of Otsutsuki. A book?
However, only one person can go to the past. What's more, they will be unable to interfere with any of the events there. If it's the only way, then I guess we just have to do it. If you're able to recover Naruto Uzumaki's memories, I will be able to release them. The released memories will spread from him to others. Once they have rippled out far enough, the lights will shine again. And everyone's memories will return. Got it. Although, it seems like it's going to take a while. We should go back and report to my dad first, then. I'd like to go over the situation and figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. You should hurry. There's not much time left. You're back. Welcome back, Boruto. Wait, you... Yes, they haven't been affected either. Mom, Dad, everyone went crazy. Just when I was thinking about what to do next, Katasuke came up to me. We heard about everything. We'll be helping you guys too. I mean, the ninja world depends on us after all. So? What happened? I yeah, actually... So you let her get away. Sorry. You can apologize later. We still have things we can do. Focus on that for now. Recovering memories? Seems like we should hurry. We were looking into the situation on this side while you were in the game. The Hidden Leaf Ninja have all left the village and are seconds away from going to war. It's the same with the other villages. They've all taken similar action. Every village is under Merz's mind control. Crazy. We don't have much time. We'll be splitting up into three groups. One will search for Zero's hideout on this side. Another team will return to the other side and begin recovering the memories. Sasuke, let me handle the memories. I'm part of the reason this all happened. And besides... If someone needs to retrace Naruto's history, you're the one most suited to do it. You got it! Sarada and the rest will go search for the hideout. Gather as much information as you can and determine its location. You make it sound so easy. Are we going to be able to find it without any leads? Hmm. My dad always said that you'll be able to find anything you're looking for if you start sifting through the straw. Straw? We know that this Zero organization has been really active lately. That means that they're probably sending out spies, running experiments, or have been doing other things that have brought them to the surface. He said that that's when people get careless and make mistakes. If you can find a mistake, you might be able to catch them by the tail. But where do we start? How about you look into recent missions? If there's any unsolved and suspicious missions, you might find a lead. Missions. Oh. Hey, Sarda, speaking of missions... Right. I just remembered, too. It might be connected. What? What are you talking about? We'll tell you more about it later. Dad, have you used Susano in a fight lately? No. Then that place really is suspicious. I think it's worth looking into again. Where are you going, Sasuke? I'm going to slow down Naruto. Once he joins in the war, there will be massive casualties. I'm the only one who can stop him. Take this. It's a communication device. You'll be going to the other side. Please contact us with this as soon as you get back. Thanks. We all have our missions. Let's go. Let's do this. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll get back my dad's memories. Take this, Boruto. 
The light will likely return if you follow Naruto's memories. When that light shines strong, your father's memories are returning. If that happens, I just need to hand it to you, right? Exactly. Okay. Now go to your father. Get back Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Whoa, so I'm going into the past like this? You're going back in time to retrace the memories of Naruto Uzumaki. I'll be your guide. The nine-tailed fox spirit was sealed within your father by the fourth Hokage. And that's where Naruto's memories begin. With nine tails residing within him, Naruto dealt with persecution from the villagers. But in spite of his burden, he stayed strong. Hanging on to a dream to one day become the Hokage. After graduating from the Ninja Academy, Naruto was assigned to Team 7 with Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno. The head of Team 7, Kakashi Hatake, held a training session to assess their abilities. Historically speaking, it was nothing more than a trivial competition. But to Naruto, it was his important first step to finding his ninja way. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Did he say test? What? Of the 27 graduates, only nine will be accepted as Genin. And the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. Seeing everything happen like this, could this mean I'm inside my dad's body? That's right. From this point on, you'll experience the life of Naruto Uzumaki directly from his point of view. This is how you'll collect his memories. I get it, but this feels pretty weird. They're about to start. Dang it! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! Let's get started here. No. Mm. Oh, oh, don't get too God. scared when you see how tough I am. Mm. Oh, Dad's so determined. Being a ninja is quite special to Naruto. It's the first step to achieving his dream after all. Okay. I know what happens after this, since his dream actually comes true. It just reminds me how amazing Dad is. His connection to Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura grew deeper as soon as he joined Team 7. Back then, Naruto saw Sasuke, an elite student as his rival, and seemed to have a crush on Sakura. I'm just a close friend of the family now. Wow. So this is where it all started. Whoa, what the... My body is... You're done collecting memories here. On to the next one. But wait, what happened to Dad and the others after that? 
Kakashi Hatake wasn't actually testing their strength. He just wanted to make sure they understood teamwork. Since they easily met his expectations, he officially welcomed them to Team Seven. <laughs> of course they did. It is those three, after all. From there, they took on various missions as ninja. The life of a ninja is full of danger. And this is the first time Naruto fought a life or death battle. Don't hold it against me. I had no other choice. I'm on this, Sasuke! Don't hold me back! I won't stop! It's the land of waves. In modern times, this spot is known as the Great Naruto Bridge. There was a great battle here to prevent the bridge from being built. Team 7 is taking on two ninja hell bent on ending its construction. One is known as Zabuza Momuchi, and the other is Haku. Haku, who you see fighting now, had a special ability called the Keke Genkai, allowing him to manipulate ice time. So, he becomes a ninja and he's already fighting guys like this? Correct. Fighting through life or death situations like these made them stronger. Haku linked his life as a tool of violence at Zabuza's disposal. This was not unheard of for the life of the ninja. Young Naruto was shocked to see Haku's subjugation. He'd never been exposed to such a life of servitude before. Being exposed to Haku's cruel fate made Naruto fully aware of his own ninja way. On to the next point in time. Haku lived as Zabuza's tool of violence, yet in the end, Naruto was able to show Zabuza how much Haku cared for him. Seeing the way Haku and Zabuza died was a turning point in Naruto's life. With this experience under his belt, Naruto moved on to his next encounter. Against a ninja feared by many, known as Gara of the Sand. Good old Gara. What's the matter? Do I scare you? You should only love yourself and fight for yourself. That is the definition of strength. I thought he was strong. Because he only fought for himself. And he was always alone. That's not what real strength is all about! Such damn old Gaara fighting each other. The clash between two enormous villages, Leaf and the Sand, caused the destruction of the Leaf. Gaara was the secret weapon of the Leaf Sand, due to the tailed beast known as Shukaku, sealed within him. A tailed beast? Just like that. Correct. He was in the same situation as Naruto, holding a tailed beast inside and being persecuted by the villagers. Well, Gaara has some killer attacks, huh? At this point in Gaara's life, he couldn't trust anyone. But the one to soften his closely guarded heart was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. Although their situations were similar, Naruto's connection to his friends made him stronger. The gods saw this, and he went to it too. This battle goes on forever. After encountering Naruto, Gara began to walk in the light. And I'm sure you know what happened after that. Uh-huh. He was accepted by all the villagers and became Kazikage. Naruto's spirit has influenced so many around him. 
Some are guided to the light, as Gara was, while others have drifted toward darkness. Sasuke chose the latter path. Naruto reached out to Sasuke, in a desperate attempt to stop him. He considered Sasuke an irreplaceable friend. to leave after much thought. Naruto was special to Sasuke as well. And those rare people he considered a close friend. Yet he was willing to sever that connection for revenge in search of the power he needed to kill his older brother. What did Sasuke have against his brother? His clan, the Uchiha, was destroyed by the Tachi. Sasuke was filled with hatred and hatred. Did that actually happen, though? These are all facts that have been covered up. Desires and ambitions pile up through the years, which ultimately shape our history. What? Sasuke! continued to go back and forth without a decisive result. It provoked Naruto to unleash his ultimate power, using everything in his repertoire. He was still unable to stop Sasuke. Naruto refused to give up. Once his next chance had surfaced, he immediately took action. He decided to embark on a journey to train together with his new master, Jiraiya the legendary Sanin. And several years later, history would once again grow turbulent. To think those two had such a crazy past. I never knew about any of this. <laughs> What's this? Your collected memories change to light, gathered in a single spot. I get it. So if the light gets strong enough, Dad gets his memory back, right? Correct. Nice. I've got this figured out now. But first, since you've collected all the memories up to this point, you should head back to the Time Reservoir. It seems a fascinating development has begun. Fascinating development? Boruto, changes are happening in this space because you started returning the memories. What do you mean? This place is built on the space this Nanashi girl created. Therefore, her memories are mixed into the crevices of the space. Normally, those memories would not come to the surface. But this space isn't under her control now. That's why they reacted to this space, and her Kiseki appeared. So, if I touch that, I can see Nanashi's past? Whether you do it or not is up to you. However, if you want to know more about her, 
Of course I'll look. I hardly know anything about her. Yachi Hooper, what a splendid ability. You will be our weapon from now on. If we implant other visual jutsu, you can multiply its effects. A weapon does not need a kind name. Nanashi will be perfect for you. I'll carve a new mark. You better conform this time. And quit your crying. Crying won't get you anywhere. No. No. No! Help! Someone please help me! Help! I think I've seen this. It's something only I saw a while ago. Something really horrible. That was Nanashi's past? The past is getting jumbled together. What you saw before was most likely her letting you in, and her control over the space began to diminish. So that's why only I was able to see it. However, that was enough to understand the awful things she's had to live through. Her Kiseki will appear again. Why don't you get back to what you were working on in the meantime? Yeah, I know. Okay, here goes. Much time had passed since Naruto and Sasuke last saw each other at the Battle of the Final Valley. Naruto returns from his training journey to the Hidden Leaf in high spirits. Team Seven's leader, Kakashi, has Naruto spar with Sakura. Of course, this was to assess how much the two of them had grown. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to take these guys more seriously this time. There's no way we can lose! Alright, watch and learn! So Dad and Sakura really trained their fucks off to get Sasuke back. That's how we feel that their connection with Sasuke was to them. Naruto in particular knew what it was like to suffer in solitude. And that horrible experience is why he refused to give up on Sasuke. No matter what Lightning Blade! When Lightning Shiver! Yeah, for sure. I know Dad considers Sasuke a really close friend. Plus, it looks like Dad and Sakura have really grown. Of course it does. It only takes us an instant to get this views put onto their lives. Not bad. I mean, sure, they got physically bigger, but it's like... They're way more confident. Are we moving on to the next battle already? Kakashi was impressed with their growth. So Sakura and Naruto rejoined Team Seven to resume their missions. The ninja world had been turned upside down by a criminal organization called the Akatsuki, actively working behind the scenes to subvert peace. Naruto and Sakura had no choice but to join the fight, and finally got some new information on Sasuke. They set out to find Sasuke at once. But what they found was a mere shell of their former friend. Seriously? I don't know if I want to see this or not. Finally! We found you! 
What are you doing all the way out here? Need to bring you back. Sasuke gives off a completely different vibe. Just a cold, ruthless stare. He was steeped in darkness, and he no longer felt a connection to his friends. He was consumed only by his hatred for Itachi. That much hate? It doesn't matter how hard Dad and Sakura tried to convince him. Yes. This is gonna look so bloodthirsty. Freaking hell. Just watching this has me sweating. There's no compassion left anywhere within Sasuke. And he's really trying to kill them. Yes. Naruto's words couldn't reach him in this state of mind. What happened to Dad? He wrote his words at an effect. A remnant of the connection they shared was still inside Sasuke. And that would be relevant to the future. Naruto's actions were not a mistake. <laughs> On to the next one. What happened to Dad, Sakura, and Sasuke after that? Naruto and Sakura's desperate pleas went unheard by Sasuke. And once again, he vanished into darkness. Naruto lamented his inability to reach Sasuke. But this frustration was the driving force behind his next attempt. Naruto started training right away to go after his friend, yet again. But meanwhile, there was a target on his back. The Akatsuki invaded the Hidden Leaf to try and steal Nine Tails from within Naruto. The Hidden Leaf Ninja fought fiercely against the invasion but the last to stand strong against the Akatsuki was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. I didn't think you'd come for me. <laughs> you saved me some time. I'll get you! <laughs> I guess it's obvious, since I know what happens in the future, but Dad gets the win here, right? Why would you think that? Oh, oh. I mean, look at him go. Dad wins this fight, hands down. I mean, he's brimming with confidence, and doesn't give off any sign of weakness. The relationship is father and son is more than you can expect. Although not to fell into despair, he could rise to a new level. Of course, his ninja way played a role. More than anything, he has friends. Friends who support him. Connections built up that are always there for him. He worked to build those bonds. Knowing he's not alone must be super encouraging. Let's get moving. Now, with enough experience to defeat even Kakazu, citizens throughout Naruto's village recognized what a powerful ninja he'd become. The Akatsuki realized it would take a great deal of power to capture Naruto. And because of this, their leader, Pain, moved into action. Pain possessed the legendary Rinnegan Eye and was known for his jaw-dropping power throughout the ninja world. He had killed a great many ninja, even Naruto's master, Jiraiya. To avenge his master, Naruto trained even harder, 
this time acquiring sage powers to take on pain. The battle between them was extremely destructive. Just allow me to capture you. Your death shall bring peace. I said shut up! My master! My friend! My village! Look what you did to all of them! I'll never forgive you! This is the Hidden Leaf Village? This is Pain's It shows you what incredible power the Rinnegan is capable of unleashing. So that water guy who can do this? Naruto was consumed with fury at this time. But who could blame him? His master and friends were killed, and his village was destroyed. Yeah, he looks pretty pissed. I've, I've never seen a death like this before. Naruto had become the strongest ninja in the Hidden Leaf Village. He's in sage mode, right? I know about this. He's gonna use nature energy or something. Yes! I cannot believe you pushed me this far. I'm really getting fired up here. One deadly struggle after another. Naruto was victorious. During battle, Naruto discovered Nagato, who was actually controlling pain, and they revealed their goals to one another. Nagato had a different concept of peace than Naruto, but Naruto's great spirit softened his heart, and they reached a peaceful resolution. Naruto had saved the Hidden Leaf from Crisis, and was welcomed by all as the village hero. Once an orphan, living alone, he was now accepted and loved by all. Dad. Oh. That shining light. You've collected all the memories up to now. Perhaps you should get back to the Time Reservoir. An omen of imminent danger hangs over the Time Reservoir. What is it? It seems her Kiseki appeared again. Yeah, I'll look into it. You are dangerous. You will live here from now on. Do you understand? The Senju are coming! Send Nanashi out here! Ha ha ha! Did you see that? The Senju clan were running scared! The Senju joined up with another clan. Apparently it was to fight Nanashi. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! Seal her up! Everything. Ninja. This world. I hate them all. What I saw was her back at the time when she was sealed away. Her power was too great. So she was sealed away by people who thought she was dangerous. If I were treated unjustly by the Uchiha clan, and every ninja in the world became my enemy, and was imprisoned. I could understand why you would come to deeply hate ninja in the ninja world. So that's why she's trying to destroy the ninja world now. Her misery is that she never found someone who understood her. There's only so much our hearts can take.
This is wrong. Why do we have to fight allied villages? For Lord Meritz. Who is Lord Meritz? The Lord Seventh said the same thing, but I don't get it. We must fight in order to realize Lord Meritz's ideals. Get in our way. I'll do whatever it takes to stop you from fighting. How futile. Stopping me won't stop the war. What you're doing is meaningless. We'll see about that. The ninja from each village have arrived at the battlefield. The battle should begin shortly. So brittle. To have such a bond so easily broken. <laughs> Lord Pain. No. Pain. The reign of power you envisioned will finally be realized. However, its vanguard will not be you who passed away. But me. I wonder how things are going for Sarda and Mitsuki. I'm worried about Sasuke too. Wait, I need to focus on my own mission. After the battle with Pain, the ninja world began a significant shift. The Akatsuki and Madara Uchiha declared war on the ninja world in a bid to attain the tailed beasts. And Sasuke, still trapped in the depths of darkness, moved to action as well. He was hell-bent on the destruction of the Hidden Leaf and the restoration of his clan. Huh? But why? I thought Sasuke wanted to kill his older brother. The ugly details of life are often kept hidden. Sasuke learned that what he was told about Itachi was false. He set out to crush the Hidden Leaf and to kill the Hokage. And there to meet him was none other than Naruto who had no intention of abandoning his friendship with Sasuke. Decision. 
Let's move on to the next point in time. The battle between Naruto and Sasuke ended in a stalemate, and once again they went their separate ways. Naruto set out to save Sasuke, and Sasuke to destroy Naruto. In a strange way, you could say their paths were aligned. Sure, you could say that, but it doesn't feel right. The ninja world became further embroiled in combat. After Madara's declaration of war, the ninja formed the Allied Shinobi forces, ushering in the Fourth Great Ninja War. Of course, Naruto quickly took to the battlefield with his new companions, first encountering ninja from his past. Naruto! Too dangerous like this. You better defeat me. Quickly! Too yeah, slow. No kidding. I'm in two. Let's do this, Naruto. Whoa! Why does Dad look like that? Before the war, he obtained the juice. It allowed him to harness the power of Nine Tails. Seriously? So he's finally able to use Nine Tails here. You're getting stronger by the minute, Dad. He did grow stronger, but his opponent was a ninja even more powerful than he. I guess you're talking about that Naruto guy who controlled Pank, right? I've heard about powerful ninja being resurrected with a reanimation jutsu during the fourth great ninja war. Seeing it happen right in front of me like this is crazy. Nagato was a powerful ninja, with the Sage of the Six Paths at his disposal. But Naruto had an encouraging ally in his side, Itachi Uchiha. Itachi was brought back by a real nation, and he was able to break away from the Jutsu's power. At this point, Naruto knew the truth about Itachi. So instead of holding any ill will toward him, he truly considered Itachi an ally. If he had stayed dead, they would have been enemies forever. But since he came back, I guess they grew to understand each other. Let's move on to the next one. In the midst of intense fighting between Naruto and Nagato, Itachi caught Nagato with his guard down and successfully sealed him away. They actually didn't have to fight anymore at this point. But I guess that's the fault of the war. Each phase of the battle took a dramatic turn. Notably, there was one ninja revived with the reanimation jutsu, who confronted the ninja who were fighting in the desert, and weakened the allied shinobi forces. His name was Madara Uchiha. Even Naruto faced a grueling battle when confronted with Madara's power. Kazakagi! Naruto! We're stopping him! Got it! You're Madara Uchiha, legendary ninja who founded the hidden leaf village with the first Hokage. Madara? Hold up. I thought there was already someone else with that. What's up with this? This was the real Madara, not the one we've known until now, who was an imposter. Then hmm? um, who the heck is the fake Madara? One of the instigators of the first great ninja. Madara Uchiha. Talk about intimidating. Madara is not even at full power yet. He's merely toying with Naruto. Seriously? The new that Madara takes seriously is the first one. Ashirama Senju. 
The only ninja to challenge Madara and overcome him. Ashirama and Madara, huh? I always heard they were legendary ninja. But they were right in front of me like this. It's pretty hard. Well, time to go already? Fighting Naruto and the others was nothing more than child's play to Madara. He summons a meteor, dealing a devastating blow to the allied shinobi forces. But what happened to Dad then? Only Naruto's shadow clone was in that area. He was actually somewhere else at the time. Somewhere else? Naruto ventured far away to confront someone. It was the imposter, Madara. The world no longer needs hope, a future for any famous heroes. When this reality ends, all that will remain is a single endless dream. Kids look up to you! Come get me. So I'm gonna keep charging ahead without losing my way. You're right gonna now. become the best Tokage there's ever been. That's my dream, you idiot. Uh, uh, so, use the fake Madara, right? Yes. So, the real Madara is Madara, and the fake Madara is Toby. This is kind of making my head spin. Anyway, now that Dad looks like that, is he maybe gonna... In the midst of a desperate struggle, Naruto gradually came to communicate with Nine Tails, or Kurama. Once they had finally reconciled, Naruto acquired full control of Kurama's power. What the heck was this Toby guy planning to do anyway? It's the reason they were capturing tailed beasts such as Kurama. Toby's goal was to resurrect Ten Tails as a combination of other tailed beasts. Then he would use the power of Ten Tails to form the infinite Super Yomi. And I'm gonna enjoy ripping that mask off of you! Yep. Yeah. What does he look like underneath all that? In the midst of a long, intense battle, thanks to the quick wit of Kakashi and his team, they were finally able to uncover Tobi's true identity. He was a man dreaming to become Hokage, just like Naruto, and a close friend of Kakashi from childhood. His name was Obito Uchiha. Obito Uchiha? Once, Obito was pure of heart. And because of this, he lost his way at the death of a loved one. This drove him to cross swords in battle with his former best friend, in hopes of bringing this world of dreams to fruition. It's kind of similar to Dad and Sasuke. Two best friends, fighting each other. <laughs> I got it! I got the light! Then you'd better get back to the Time Reservoir. Once again, I see an unsettling omen there. Right. Okay, got it. Her memory appeared. That's the third time. I wonder, what'll I see this time? I found you. <laughs> if we use her power, the ninja world will be in pandemonium. Nanashi Uchiha, used by her clan as a weapon. You will prove useful in this time period as well. Who are you people? 
People who understand you. You hate ninja in the ninja world. Or am I wrong? Don't you hate the ninja who used you and sealed you away? Help me. We can throw the entire ninja world into chaos together. I think that was from when Nanashi was released from the seal. Hmm. They used her hatred to get her to help. Damn it. Let's continue. Obito had declared the fourth great ninja war, and it was about to reach its climax. With the allied shinobi forces standing with Naruto and Madara fighting alongside Obito, the fight turned extremely chaotic. It became exceedingly difficult to drive back the combined forces of Obito and Madara. Finally, Ten Tails came into being, and Obito took in its power. Jeez, after that it seems like they'd be toast. Just as they had Naruto cornered, a certain ninja appeared, foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. It was Sasuke Uchiha. Sasuke? It's only a matter of time before the infinite Tsukuyomi activates! The fact of the matter is, your war has ended. Super so Night Tail Beast! Sasuke and I are still here! Seems to me, these two could be Obito, even infused with the Ten Tails, right? The power of Ten Tails is equal to the Sage of the Six Paths. And with ordinary strength, it will be difficult to cause even a hint of damage. But if anyone could do it from the ninja world back then, it would only be Naruto and Sasuke. Plus we've got these two rivals, who are actually friends, teaming up to fight. This is getting really intense. To this point. Gotcha. The barrage of attacks from Ten Tails, as well as Obito and Madara. Many members of the Allied Shinobi forces lost their lives. Your uncle, Neji Fuda, was a Yeah, I know about that. Let's move on to the next one. With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the allied shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him, losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. I cannot defeat you. I have the power of the six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid! We're gonna defeat you! You're a blood out. Shut up, Mark! different again. What happened this time? He encountered the Sage of the Six Paths in the spiritual world between life and death. And together with Sasuke, they bargained his power. I'm Both 
closer than I am. Once a noble man. Who? Are you serious? Madara was compassionate? He lost his beloved brother. Broke away from his friend Hashirama and was betrayed by his clan. A series of tragic events combined to make Madara into the man he is today. Well, the time has come to win this fight. After a back-and-forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor, and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It's time to gather up all my chakra. And unify it once more. Who the hell is that? Sealed away in ancient times due to possessing too much power. She was known as the Rabbit God. Again? But hold on a second. What happened to Madara? Madara had a companion named Setsu, who he trusted with his life. I thought Setsu was working with him to carry out infinite Tsukuyomi. But once Madara confirmed the plans had been completed, Setsu betrayed him. Why? Setsu wasn't a true friend. He was actually working to resurrect Final Truth Seeker Orb. He used infinite Tsukuyomi to gather chakra for the resurrection. But eventually, Madara himself was used as a vessel. Madara? So powerful. I can't believe he ended up with this. So we're moving on. Hell beat bomb! It was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions, and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke, and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, Scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Enough! 
Enough already! Just let me cut you down! <laughs> you can't cut your connection to me! Too slow. Just this connection that! Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! Right? The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto, my connection to you is the most irritating one of all! After fighting Obito, Madara, and Kaguya, Dad ends up clashing with Sasuke? It's fate. That's all I can call it. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal. He fought and fought to see it through. But Dad still refused to give up on him. The efforts Naruto made to save Sasuke would soon come into an entire victory. By giving and receiving support, building and protecting connections with friends, Naruto diligently followed his ninja way. Let's finish this. This battle. All of our battles! It's time. Are you ready? Both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life or death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend, and that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest, here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right. You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but... I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like... My dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key... to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared. But it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now. But I want this child to walk within the light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari?
Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents, and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now, let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories, resurrect here and now. trying to do why are you so obsessed with me because we're friends why are you 
you so determined to stay involved with me? Because we're friends. <laughs> Loser. Let me ask you, just what are you then? Are you still under the control of that nobody Mertz? Or... <laughs> I think I've already told you several times by now. I'm... Your friend, you know? What have I been doing? Are you back to normal? What are you saying? Why aren't they fighting? What is going on? Impossible! Our plan was going so well. Why did the mind control suddenly stop? Nanashi, was it you? I didn't do anything. Really? You didn't stop this after feeling sympathetic for the boy? Not at all. Then why? It doesn't matter. Even without it, as long as I am alive, Zero still has the advantage. Yes! But do you know how much we spent to get this far? Just focus on your surroundings. Huh? Multiple Leaf Ninja detected around our hideout. They already have a lock on our location. How is that possible? They are foolish, but not stupid. They know we're out here and have been searching for us. What? But how? The only information out there on Zero is sketchy at best. They could have someone as good as you. As good as me? Could it be Kataste Sensei? In any case, intercept anyone who comes near the hideout. Go. Sir! Hmm. Everything is going awry. How could this happen? <laughs> This is getting interesting. Geez, you didn't hold back, did you? You didn't either. We don't have time to rest. It's not over yet. Yeah, I know. Ready? Yeah. We've succeeded in reviving the memories. The ninja world has been brought back to normal. <sighs> Thank goodness. What do you want to do now?
That's... Nanashi Uchiha's memory. I didn't think there would be more. Hey! Could you just tell me what beginners should be doing? Who is this guy? Oh, it's just a kid. It's easy to handle them when you can see what they're thinking so clearly. I can just have kids like him read the manual or something. Come on, just tell me! You already know what's on this page 13. He's so demanding. Nanashi! He's talking to me again. Did you see what I just did? What is so fun about talking to me? Hey! He's here again today. I guess I can hang out with him a little. But don't you want to have some fun? What's that? Don't worry, it's not what you think. I just want to be friends. What is with him? You said that earlier, but I didn't think you were serious. I assumed you didn't want to do it. He's right. Why did I help him of my own accord? Hey, you finally called me by my name. He noticed. However, it doesn't feel too weird. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. F friends? Did he just call me his friend? Oh. That's nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. Sorry, Boruto. I just can't forgive Ninja. The more I think about it, the more this dark feeling bubbles up inside me. But I want to save Boruto. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I knew it. I knew she wasn't a bad guy. Living through her harsh past, never being treated like a person. I'm sure Nanashi was very happy that you reached out to her. However, she was also a prisoner of her hatred. It seemed that she was deeply conflicted about it. Boruto, let me ask you again. What do you plan to do now? I'm gonna go talk to her again. Even if she might not want to listen. Even then, nothing can start if we don't talk. Besides, she'll understand, because she's not a bad guy. So you trust her? Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> Go then. Yeah! The child is strong. 